Hi, I'm Philip. I work at Base 10, and today I'm going to show you how to build a streaming endpoint for XTTS v2. So this model is a open source text-to-speech model, which means we're going to give it a input text, and it's going to narrate that text to us in a sort of natural sounding voice. It supports 17 languages, it supports voice cloning, it's a really cool model. But if you're going to build with this model in production, you are going to send it a chunk of text and it's going to send you back a response. This can take a little while. Even though the model runs influence pretty quickly, it's not going to be anything like real time. Well, fortunately, we have a pretty good strategy for that called streaming. It's the same thing that we use with large language models for sort of chat style interfaces where you send a prompt and it sends you back the tokens as they get generated by the model. Similarly, we're going to send the entire chunk of text to the model, and then it's going to send us back individual uh, snippets of audio as those are generated. So to deploy this model behind that kind of API endpoint with streaming, we're going to go ahead and grab this model, and we're going to build a Truss for it. So Truss is a open source model packaging framework that based on created and I have a trust for the model right here. So looking at the config real quick, we're gonna be running this model on a T4 GPU, uh, which is one of the least expensive GPUs out there because the model doesn't have you know, super strong requirements in terms of hardware. This is gonna be more than enough for our needs. We've got some Python requirements for this, uh, for this model, and the main model server is going to be implemented over here in model.py. So the way this works is basically you have a load function that's going to load the model onto the GPU, configure it with the speaker and the voice and all that kind of stuff. And then you have a predict function that runs the actual inference each time the model endpoint is called. So that's going to take the text, the language, the chunk size, and pass it through the model and then use, so the model XTTS v2 actually has a built-in streaming capability that we just need to expose through our model server. So we're going to go ahead and implement that, uh, that, that function here and yield chunks from the streamer as they're created. We also need a little post-processing function for the, for the WAV audio output. So you can actually go with the link in the description and grab this pre-written truss and deploy it for yourself. Um, all we're gonna need to do is go down here and run truss push. So we can go ahead and run this command. It'll get the model deployed into production. Just to save us a minute, I actually did that ahead of time for us. So we're going to take a look over here. We have this development deployment up and active. And this development deployment is super cool because it's going to allow us to do live reload where basically we can make changes here and it's going to be automatically reflected in the deployment. We've got logs for the deployment. We've got metrics showing, you know, I was testing it a little bit before I made this video for you all. And so now we're going to go over and invoke the model. So we have some text that we want it to read. Um, we grab the model ID. We use the API key as an environment variable. We make a request to the model and we try to stream the output. So for that, we're going to be using, um, we're gonna be using FFMPEG and I've already got that installed. If you don't, you can run brew install FFMPEG and that'll take care of it for you. So with this script, which is again going to be linked in the description, I don't want to talk through every single line. Um, it's, uh, we're, we're going to be able to call this model and see this streaming in action. So if I go ahead here and I'm going to do python call.py, let's, uh, I'll stop talking so you can hear what happens after I call this. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. So there you go. It's a pretty simple audio streaming endpoint. You can, of course, go back to the model. Let me find that for you. You can go back to the model. You can change the voice. Um, 
in this inference code, you can change the text that you want read. Of course, I just have a nice little Shakespeare quote in that. And yeah, over here on your model deployment, you can see the logs from when we've been when we've been calling the model, the usage. You can see the you know inference logs. And yeah, that's the uh, that's what I have to show you today. Um, a streaming endpoint for XTTS v2 that lets you create near real time text to speech experiences for your AI powered applications. Thanks for watching, and you can reach out uh, to support at base10.co if you've got any questions.